Cheers to Ian Hanlon, oh. the Chronix and Lance and other pretty characters. <laughs> <laughs> the bad boys and the good bad boys. <laughs> Welcome to the Brett Miller Voice Show. Thank you so much for having me. A pleasure to have Ian on my channel. Before we start this off, Ian, I always screw up and, and I always tell people to put their social media like at the end of the interview. Uh, and most people only watch the first interview. This is the one that's going to get the most hits. Mm -hmm. So where can people find you on Twitter and all, Insta whatever you do? Uh, so on Twitter, I'm at Ian Stewart Hanlon. I put my middle name in there for some reason. Uh, S-T-U-A-R-T. And uh, on Instagram, I'm just uh, Ian Hanlon. Stuart. 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 Ian Stuart Hanlon. Oh, yeah. It's a cause. And I'll make sure to put his stuff below on this video. You're pretty good at that. Who is more fun to play, Lance or Chronic? It's it's a tough call, but I'm going to have to say mm, Lance. i got to go Wow. Lance. Yeah. Wow, really? Mm. Oh, man. Half the people just turned <laughs> off this video. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was I was more comfortable playing Lance, but I had a lot a lot of fun playing Acronics, uh, especially with uh, with uh, Michael as well as sort right. of a, to bounce off of. That right. Was fun. I should have asked that question last. Cause <laughs> <laughs> we can put it last. At least we got your social media there at the start. <laughs> Is working with Brent Miller like the highlight of your life? Absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah. I remember actually the first time we worked together. I think it was we went for lunch and coffee. And yeah. uh, we got a chance to chat there, and that was a lot of fun. Wow, that was actually pretty good. I thought you were going to humiliate me with that answer. No, Thanks, okay, man. Yeah, no, All right, bro. Of Thoughts on Macronix? Macronix? Yeah, do you ship Ooh. it? Do I ship it? I absolutely ship it. Man, he knows what shipping is. Yeah, I, I knew. It. He's he's with the times. It's top shelf shipping. And, uh, and I've been involved in a ship or two. Top shelf shifting? Top okay. shelf shipping. That's a thing? Could be. And you're teaching me. It is now. Top <laughs> shelf Shipping? <laughs> I'd ship that all the way to the top shelf. I'm shipping top shelf shipping. <laughs> ship it. It's a ship in a bottle Kay. on the top shelf. <laughs> Are we going to do this for another five minutes? <laughs> do you know what that is? Macron, Macronix, the two? Do you know who the two that is? Uh, well, I know of Acronix, but who am I being shipped with with the M? Gen General uh, uh, Machia. Ooh. Yeah, I do like that. There, there's a lion in the like show. I like her. She's full of snakes. Yeah, something yes. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you guys have. Uh, Ship. First time you got Lance, mm. were you excited because it was Lance or did you actually want one of the other characters? It's funny, I, when I read for it, I was at home in Halifax in a rental car with an iPhone and wow. Lance was the, the last one I read because everybody I think wanted to be the, the book of monsters. Lance was the one that I was the most kind of comfortable with and I thought right. I know how to do that so I'm going to do all the other stuff first and then do Lance at the end. And then Lance is the one I ended up getting, and I think it makes the most sense. It's just kind of funny because Zane was my last character that I went for for Nin Ninjago. No way. We're both last place people that became first place people. Mm -hmm. And they're both the silver characters, which is kind of cool too. Ship it. Yeah, ship that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ship that in your ship. <laughs> Do you remember any funny lines that Lance or Chronix have had? Uh, I think it was a Chronix saying uh, to Crux uh, something along the lines of uh, Mr. Stick to. Uh, uh, Mr. I don't like technology, even though it's cool, or something like that, which was kind of fun. Getting to tease him was a lot of right, fun. Right, right. There was a lot of that going on in the season, wasn't there? Yeah, and, and as Lance, I always liked any time I got to talk to Hamleta, which is his pet pig. Okay. And confidant. That was also enjoyable as well. You're a really good listener, Hamleta. Do you have a, a personal love for technology, like Acronix, or are you, like, just not into it? I like it. I'm not great at it. Um, I can show my parents how to send an email, but I can't. I, I usually end up on the uh, the YouTube tutorials with <laughs> how do I you, print? <laughs> YouTube tutorials are fantastic. They're they, the greatest. They've changed my life. I just learned how to put a duvet cover on today with the burrito technique, and I'm never going back. <laughs> YouTube that one. It's good stuff. Excuse me. Did you just say burrito technique? The burrito technique. To put a duvet on. To put a duvet cover over the duvet. There's a burrito technique. It is the greatest, most time-saving... Why is it making me hungry? Dig if you could have a time blade, which mm. one would you get? Any time blade would do. I love the idea of being able to, in some way, manipulate time. I always thought that was a really neat part of those characters. Was mm -hmm. uh, I, I loved Back to the Future, all of those movies. Yeah. So uh, any any... Any mixing with time is, is fine with me. If you were to go back, use a time blade and to go back in time to wherever you want, mm -hmm. wanted to, 
what would you, where would you go? The Bronze Age. Just because I think I would finally be the most technologically advanced person in a <laughs> <Yeah>. room. <laughs> I'd finally be the guy who knew Wait more about computers Wait till I show you guys anybody. how to use the burrito method oh. on this duvet. <laughs> I'm gonna change your crazy cave lives. Yeah. If you were to play any other Ninjago character mm -hmm. that you got to pick, who would you go after? Well, I'd have to go Zane. Would you go Zane? Yeah. Okay, what's the reason? Well, I always, that's a hard character to do. And I've, I've auditioned for characters like that before that are kind of, and it's easy to over flatten mm -hmm. something like that. So it's really nuanced and really difficult to really convey a character like that, the sort of zen or robotic thing without going too far into being flat and a, a sort of personality free right. robot. So I always thought that was really impressive that you were able to thread that needle. Wow. So I'd we like to like We should have done that. this we should have done this interview a long yeah. time ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how do you play calm yeah, and how exactly. do you play thoughtful without being flat? I guess it worked out. Where did Crux and Acronics go? There's a whole lot of timelines and a whole lot of time streams. And they could be anywhere. Do you have hope that somewhere in the future we will see you again? Oh yes. I, I hope that uh, when when least expected, suddenly Kapow! everybody starts slowing down and reversing, and then oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, getting really serious here. Mm. Cookies or cake? Cookies. More manageable portions. Cake is just too dense. I get tired thinking about cake. Is your hair as luscious as Lance? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. I have very fine hair that never does what I want it to do. So I'm at the mercy of my hair, unlike Lance, who has tamed that mane. Who do you know the most in all of the cast? Probably Vincent, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, we've had the opportunity to work on a couple things together, and it's been it's been cool getting to know know Vincent. If you could come up with your own idea for an army, Ooh. what would you choose? Always been a fan of the whole like robot thing. Okay. So I like I like the idea of like a robot army, but rock monster army is pretty cool too. Rock monster. We got to do that yeah. on uh, on on Nexo Nights and that was that was pretty cool getting to do that. Okay, we'll rock the rocks. How much of Ninjago have you actually watched? I've seen bits and pieces here and there. Um, I when I when I auditioned for the show, I didn't know exactly who I was going to be even reading for. I think they only called him Mysterious Warrior when I read for him. Oh, really? So I didn't know if he was a good guy really or a bad guy or anything like that. So yeah, I'd, I'd seen a bit and I've definitely tried to go back and watch more of it now that I'm involved in it to try, right. try and make sure that I'm on brand. Did you um, audition for any of the ninja or were you not in voice at that point? I wasn't around at that point or I had just gotten to town but I wasn't. Well, that's a good thing because maybe you would have got Zane and then I would <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I Apparently you want my this. parts. You and Michael Dangerfield. Yes. We're brothers in the show, obviously. Mm -hmm. You played off each other. Yep. Um, and to be able to play off somebody like that, there's got to be a chemistry involved. Yes. Did you guys know each other prior, or were you just like thrown into the fire? We had met once or twice, but that was, I believe, the first time we'd ever actually worked together on anything. Um, and it was it was interesting too because I'm sure the both of us auditioned for both parts. Um, so I had auditioned for for Crux. Yep. And you know, Dr. Saunders and the whole thing like that. So getting to sort of find out like, well, who's the other one? This is kind of neat. Um, yeah. So w when I found out it was Michael and we got in there, there was a neat sort of um, comparison between the two of us, a neat, right. nice little juxtaposition. And I didn't know him very well then, but uh, we definitely did come up with, I think anyway, a pretty cool back and forth between the mm -hmm. two of them. What if Lance was a ninja for a day? What would he do? Oh, he would be the laziest ninja. He'd be. Like Michelangelo with less enthusiasm. <laughs> if Lance had an elemental power, what would it be? Is gold an element? It's on the periodic table. I don't know, man. This is your question. You can answer the way you want. Gold. He would he would be a, a King midas -y type character who could turn things into gold. If Ian had an elemental power. One of my favorite superheroes is Swamp Thing. So maybe something kind of like that, like plants or... Earth. Earth, yeah. You'd be like, uh, be cool. Good. You'd be yeah. able to control. Earth. A lot of cities don't have enough nature, I don't think. So I'd like to go around and kind of green up wow. some towns. You would use your powers for good. I would try. A lot of people, I think, would would say Earth is kind of lame. Understood. Because when you're going with like lightning and fire and all yeah. this stuff you could do, and ice, obviously, they would say Earth. You can't. What? what you just want to move? You want a garden? Yeah, but you know, it's maybe it's not the flashiest of powers. But if you're sitting around and someone's like, wow. 
this iced tea is missing something. Boom, lemon tree, lemon in that iced tea. Right. Now who's the life of the party? Got it. You know what I'm saying? For Chronix was, was to pick a fight with one of the ninja. Well, he's still got that vendetta against Wu. Final answer. Woo. Give it up for Wu. Woo. Woo. What piece of technology in our current world mm -hmm. do you think a Chronix would like the most? What is it? Alexa? Amazon Echo? Oh, yeah, that's new. I think he'd get a kick out of that. And the fact that it's been laughing evilly. Wait, tell me it's new because otherwise, if it's been around for a long time, I would feel stupid. I believe, new, I believe right? it's I'm new. Only, I'm it's only new, commercials it's new to me. Okay. It's new to me. Yeah, I'm like, wow, of all the things to pick, you're picking something so current that. Is it current? Uh, hey, Alexa. Some fans think a Chronix is attractive. Mm. Hey, what's your take on that? How can you tell? He's got a bandana over his face, he's wearing a hood all the time.